Space is the vast unknown that we may never understand. It is larger than we can comprehend and full of secrets. The little we do learn about space, the more we realize just how complex it is. Sometimes we get signals from above that give us a glimpse into what's going on outside of Earth, and some of them are terrifying. So let's jump into the top five scary signals that came from space. In at number 5 we have the Soyuz 11. On June 6th the cosmonauts Georgi Debrovlovsky, Vladislav Volkov and Viktor Patsyev were launched into space aboard Soyuz 11 on a mission to dock and enter Salyut 1, the Soviet space station that had been placed in orbit in April. The mission's goal was to set a record for the longest time spent in space. The spacecraft successfully docked with the station and the cosmonauts spent 23 days orbiting the Earth. On June 30th they left Salyut one and began re-entry procedures. When they fired the explosive bolts to separate the Soyuz 11 re-entry capsule from another stage of the spacecraft, a critical valve was jerked open. 100 miles above the Earth, the capsule was suddenly exposed to the nearly pressureless environment of space. As the capsule rapidly depressurized, Patsyev tried to close the valve by hand but failed. Minutes later, the cosmonauts were dead. They became the first people to ever die in space. The last message that they sent to Earth was them trying to scream for help. Help, but they couldn't due to the loss of pressure. All they heard from the crew was them gasping for air and then popping sounds from the air in their lungs expanding. The spacecraft landed itself perfectly on Earth, fully intact. When it was open, they found the remains of the crew, with blood dripping from their ears and nose, and their skin had turned blue due to the lack of oxygen. Not many today have heard the recording, but it, but it is sure to send chills down anyone's spine hearing these poor men last few minutes in space. In and up before we have wow, in 1970. The sound of extraterrestrials were heard by human ears for the very first time. The wow signal was detected by astronomer Jerry Eman using Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Telescope. It is a radio signal detector that was pointed at a group of stars called Chai Sagittari in the constellation Sagittarius. When scanning the skies around the stars, Eman captured a 72 second burst of radio waves. He circled the reading and wrote wow next to it, hence the signal's name. He was desperately searching for the signal to get a second reading, but he never found it again. Over the last 40 years, the signal has been cited as evidence that we are not alone in the galaxy. Experts and lay people alike believe that finally we had evidence of alien life. The WOW signal is the strongest signal we have ever received from space. We may never know who or what caused the signal, but it is the strongest proof Earth has ever had that there is something else out there. Hopefully, whatever it is, it's peaceful or like Earth. In at number 3 we have Lost Cosmonaut. The Lost Cosmonauts are subject of a theory alleging that some Soviet cosmonauts went to outer space, but their existence has never been publicly acknowledged by either the Soviet or Russian space authorities. The Soviet Union attempted to launch human spaceflights before Yuri Gagarin's first spaceflight, and those cosmonauts on board died in those attempts. Two brothers who were former amateur radio operators made audio recordings which support the theory that the Soviet space program covered up cosmonaut deaths in the 1960s. One of the recordings in question is from November 1963. The recording is of a woman who died on a solo mission into space. In the recording you can hear her screaming, she is shouting about how the capsule is heating up. You can hear her screaming it is getting hot. She is frantically looking for someone to help her, but once she was up there she was on her own. It is believed the capsule burned up on re-entry and the woman died. When asked about the recording, the Soviets claimed that the space mission was unmanned and no woman died during re-entry. The evidence seems to prove this wrong and their denial proves the possibility of the cover-up. In at number 2, Sounds of Saturn. The ringed planet and its moon Enceladus have a lot to say to each other. Though it's been gone for nearly a year, the Cassini spacecraft continues to fuel new studies of Saturn and its many moons. In particular, Cassini's unique and close up view of the system during its grand finale orbits produced data that have revealed how plasma waves moving outward from the planet interact with both its rings and its moons. Now, in a video produced by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory using this data, you can tune in to the sounds of Saturn. The radio emission generated by these plasma waves as they travel along the invisible magnetic field lines linking the planet with its icy moon Enceladus. As it plunged closer to the planet during its grand finale on September 2nd, 2017, Cassini's radio and plasma wave science instrument picked up electromagnetic waves as it traveled through the Enceladus flux tube, a sort of conduit between the moon and the planet, bounded by magnetic field lines and through which charged particles can flow back and forth. The waves fall in the range of human hearing, and scientists have now amplified them into the audio file below, compressing about 16 minutes worth of data down to 28.5 seconds of scary space sound. 
sounds. Finally, in at number one, we have Milky Way signal. A fast radio burst was detected from within our galaxy for the very first time. We may be closer to uncovering its origin. On April 28, 2020, two ground based radio telescopes detected an intense pulse of radio waves. It only lasted a mere millisecond, but for astonished astronomers, it was a major discovery. Representing the first time a fast radio burst or FRB had ever been detected so close to Earth. Located just 30,000 light years from our planet, the event was firmly within the Milky Way, and it was, to all intents and purposes, almost impossible to miss. The Canadian hydrogen intensity mapping experiment certainly had no problems picking it up. I quote, we weren't even looking in the right direction and we still saw it loud and clear in our peripheral vision. One of them noted, one of the major problems with detecting FRBs aside from most of them having been so far away is that they are so fleeting. They've been and gone in the blink of an eye despite being 100 million times more powerful than the sun. They can release as much energy in a few thousands of a second as the sun in 100 years. Ideally astronomers would discover an object and focus one or more different telescopes at it, but the ephemeral nature of the these bursts removes any such opportunity. But despite these challenges, astronomers have succeeded in building up a bank of knowledge about FRBs, most of which has been based on the dozens of recorded events from beyond our own galaxy. For starters, we know they are bright flashes of radio light lasting from microseconds to milliseconds. All sky searches for them also suggest that thousands of these bursts occur in the sky every single day. It will take many years of research to understand exactly what these signals mean. Until then, we can just wonder about what is out there among the galaxy. Well, there we have it. Do you guys agree with our list? Does space scare you as much as it scares me? Probably not. Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below and perhaps we can do a part two. And on that note, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you later.